Tempo has reached critical level. Tempo has reached critical level. <laughs> Bounce. Oh, I like you. Bounce. Come here, girl. Come here, girl. Come here, girl. Bounce. Come here, girl. Come here, girl. Come here, girl. Bounce. Come here, girl. Come here, girl. Come here, girl. Bounce. Oh, hey, hey, what's cracking, ladies and gentlemen? How y'all doing? This Hector Sun 3. I am doing a sort of a sun of a Sunday, not Sunday. I'm doing sort of a Wednesday night drive for y'all. Just say how's everybody's doing. Just making an update for you. And also just to let y'all know some news. Oh crap, I forgot about this ball. But uh, also I wanted to let y'all know and make y'all aware of something. There are going to be some changes. Not to my channel in particular, but I'll be creating a new channel devoted for automotive work, you know, pre you know pretty much basic automotive work and, and, you know, just preventative maintenance and whatnot. But uh, I figured I'd go ahead and start making this channel because I've I've had some few people ask me, you know, I got a problem with my car, I got a problem with my truck, and you know, and this and that and the other, but some of the, damn, coming in a bumpy ass road, but um, some of the people that have asked me that have been these people that I go to these uh, anime conventions for. Now, just in case some of y'all don't know, yeah, I'm into the Japanese anime, I love that stuff. I love it. I love it in general, and there's one series that I'm big into called Cowboy Bebop. I love that series. It's great. Deal with bounty hunting and everything. Set in the future and Mars. You know, it's great. And I especially love this one character, Faye Valentine. Oh, man, what a fox. That's why you see her in my background on my channel. But, um, I've decided to create a new channel called The Otaku Garage. This channel will be devoted to her preventative maintenance you know, such as belts, you know, general, you know, just general minor stuff, you know, what will go on with the car. And, uh, basically it'll be for the people that go to the conventions and, you know, sometimes they might have a problem with their car and they need to figure out what the, what, you know, what the heck's going on. I mean, you know, it could be something as simple as probably like a loose spark plug wire, you know, maybe you got a belt that's torn or something, you know, or... Or shoot, maybe maybe be as simple as put, just putting a battery in, you know, that, that, just that. Well, the Otaka Garage will cover most of the stuff. You know, it's not going to cover anything major, you know, like uh, putting an engine in or setting the timing or, you know, or, uh, you know, taking out a water pump, putting a new one in or, or putting injectors in or something like that. No, it, it's not going to be that in-depth. It's just going to be basic preventative maintenance, you know, probably change spark plugs, your cap and rotor, distribute your cap and rotor, you know, probably maybe even brakes. But, um, you know, it, it'll all be devoted to that. Because there's a lot of people out there that need to be educated on how to take care of their vehicles. You know, if some people are like, oh, it's just a car, it's a truck, you know, oh, I, I'm just going to you know, I'm just going to run to the ground, you know, just go buy me another one. Well, you know what? For some people, it's not that easy, you know, just going out and, you know, getting another vehicle and, you know, say, oh, well, I'll run this in the ground, too. You know, I've got a warranty. I've got a warranty. Well, you know what? Sometimes that warranty don't cover every single solitary bleeping thing. It don't cover everything. <laughs> you know, like oil changes or nothing like that. It doesn't cover that. But... That's basically what the Otaka Garage is going to be, you know, pretty much covering. It's just basic preventative maintenance on cars, trucks, you know, anything on four wheels, anything that you take to an anime convention. People need to be aware, especially the people that go out of state for these conventions in their vehicles. They need to be ready, you know, for the unexpected. So that's basically all that that channel is going to be know going to be for you know just basic preventative maintenance so if you know anybody 
if you know anybody that wants to know automotive work in general, if you know anybody that wants to, I want this camera focus. I don't know. But if you know anybody that wants to know anything about automotive in general, you know, just the basic stuff, um, you know, or, or you know, they just want, they just want to try to figure out, you know, what goes on in the engine, you know, you know, suggest them to me. Suggest them to the Otaku Garage, and, you know, it will, it will educate you. It's not, I mean, I'm not ASC certified. I'm not a certified mechanic or anything like that, but when it comes to something, you know, minor like changing oil, checking your brakes, or checking the fluids in the car, you know, that's easy. Anybody can do that. But... Basically, that's all that channel is going to be devoted to. It's just basic preventative maintenance and all that. I know I sound like a broken record. I'm sorry. But anyways, uh, real quick, I just want to give some acknowledgments and some shout outs. I want to shout out to uh, MBYR31, Matt, and uh, Uncle Ralphie. You know, I want, to, I want to shout out to both of those guys. Those guys are, you know, I keep in touch with Matt from time to time. You know, I, shoot him a text message every once in a while. He shoots me one and everything. So it's great to keep in touch with Matt. Uh, the Worm Ranchero 302 Me. Dude, man. I need to... <laughs> I saw a last vid that you did. I saw one vid. I need to bring you to where I work. And I guarantee team, man, you are going to freaking flip. And you're probably going to make a few of my coworkers cry. You would probably make a few of my co-workers cry because it's BS. Because I get told that I need to go back and relearn what I need to learn in the three years that I've worked with the company that I'm at. I've worked for three years at an auto parts store, and they're telling me I need to go back and relearn when I when I when I relearn and be taught again. I'm like, y'all a bunch of immature little sons of bitches and everything. Y'all are immature all drinking. I work with freaking mid-40s, early 50-year-old people, and yet I've got more brains than what they've got. They got, and all they want to do is cry and whine. I don't care. You know what? I don't care who sees this. I really don't care. I, you know, if they spend one day with me, they're going to find out. And I'm getting sick and tired of being told, of being told that I don't do nothing when I know I do, when I know I do fucking more than anybody else. I mean, that's bullshit. That's bullshit that I get told I don't do nothing. The reason I don't do nothing, you know, if it... The reason I don't do nothing in your book is because I'm off doing something that you don't want to do. That's the reason you think I don't do nothing is because I'm doing something that you don't want me to... That you want me to do, and I'm doing something else. That's the problem. That's the problem. You're just blind and not seeing what I do. You know, you're just you're just all pissed because I'm not doing what you want me to do. You're not my boss. You're not my boss. You don't sign my paychecks. So why the hell are you telling me to do something when you ain't even when you ain't even superior to me? You know, you may have been there longer than I am, but you know what? You're not my superior. You know, fuck you. In the words of a co-worker I trust from from where I from where I work, fuck you and feed you fish eggs. I don't give a shit. But anyways, those are the two main ones. Uh, Child of the Corn, you know, that's another one that I talk to from time to time. Infinity of Expulsion, I, I, talk, I talk to them from time to time. Uh, Badge 762, I believe. No, Badge 794, I'm sorry. Badge 794, I'm sorry. I don't know. Sam. <laughs> Sam, there you go. He knows who I'm talking about. No. And he hope to hear from you again, man. But anywho. Oh, dang. I'm going in nine minutes. Uh, so hopefully I get to go home and get, drink this uh, smearing off apple. An apple something that I got, you know. But shoot. Alcohol is alcohol. I don't give a crap. I don't give a crap if it's a girly drink and all. Alcohol, shoot. Alcohol is alcohol, man. What you talking about? And if none of y'all don't like it, 
Y'all can just go, and y'all can just go screw Emu. I don't give a shit. <laughs> but anywho, like I said, I just want to give y'all that update and you know, let y'all know about about the Otaku Garage that'll be coming soon. Hopefully, I'll start. I'll be starting to shoot um, the first episode of that here. If not tomorrow, Friday. If not tomorrow, Friday, and then hopefully I'll upload it that night. So, anyways, y'all stay out of trouble, and I'll be seeing y'all around the bend. This is Hexercent 3. Thanks for watching.